Leona kicks things off by frying the batter from earlier. You ready? I think I am, yes. Two, three. Result! <laughs> After a quick toss, they're filled with goat's cheese and spinach, and then baked. And here it is, spinach and goat's cheese crepe with beetroot salad. Cheese is lovely, honey, and you've made a good job of making your crepe. Do you make your own beetroot? Yeah. It's quite nice. Is it? Yeah, the beetroot mm. salad? No, yeah, make the, make the beetroot. Did she make her actual beetroot? No, I bought the beetroot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I grew it, I grew it myself. <laughs> oh, beetroot's just out of a jar. Um, goodness knows what uh, she does with it. It was tasty, it was nicely presented. I thought the spinach would be cooked inside it. You know, starter was, was just a pancake. <laughs> um, that was it. My younger kids could do that. At the table, talk turns to Leona's pop past. Well, in my younger days, I used to be in a girl band. We had a couple of hits in the charts, in the UK charts. Couple of top forties. Really? Yeah. Well, I was quite tempted to pull out the mobile phone and ask her for a selfie. You know, it's not often you're sitting beside a celebrity at all at dinner. No phones at the table, please, John. The price to fame is that laugh, but honey, you made it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a compliment in there somewhere. I think you liked it. Just a bit worried about the main course now. I won't be able to relax until this dinner's over. And there's still quite a long way to go, I'm afraid. Leona layers fried black pudding, pureed parsnip and parsnip crisps into a ramekin, then serves up her chicken. And here it is for the second night running, stuffed chicken with a very thick sauce. The main course and, oh, it was just out of this world. That's very nice. The chicken worked really well. She kept it really moist. It hadn't dried out. If pressed, I think Leona's stuffed chicken was better than Andrea's. All good so far, only Andrea to go. To me, everything in that plate was tasteless. The chicken wrapped in bacon, the bacon wasn't wrapped properly. It was kind of stuck on. Let's call that two out of three. Next talk turns to lookalikes. He's a wee bit Prince William, though, when he was younger. What, the Prince William? More like Curly Watts. <laughs> Next, Curly, sorry, John, is guessing Andrea's lookalike. Now, be careful. Don't say Dorian from Birds of a Feather. Go on. I was going to say, uh, who's the woman from Birds of a Feather? Don't! Um... Oh, my God, I will never forgive you because <laughs> my friends say that. Oh, she wasn't too happy at all with that, but, oh, it's all about the crack. You look so oh, like her. Oh, my God, she's so haggard. Yeah. Honestly, my besties all say that I look like yeah. Dorian. I think John was starting to dig his own grave. I think he's already in it. Oh, Andrea, you've left a little bit of little chicken. I might, I might cry. I didn't eat all my, my, my chicken, even though it was perfect. Not pointed at all. Andrea said left quite a lot of her chicken, so I'm not sure if she liked it too much. She said her, hers was perfect, so probably thinking that mine wasn't too perfect. Well, maybe your secret talent will win her over instead. Oh, my so, goodness. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a wee bit of Glasgow Opera. What can it say about Leona's singing? I was gobsmacked, absolutely gobsmacked. What a, what a set of lungs she's got on her. Leona's laugh tonight has not been as bad, but I also think the fact that people, when they see her singing like that, it's forgivable. Who cares about a laugh when you can sing opera like that? That was fantastic.